Hi, I'm Brian Hale at Resin.io, and we're here at SDC presenting Resin, which is our software deployment and configuration platform. And our mission is to make software development, deployment, and management incredibly easy and intuitive for embedded devices. So now it's time to demo. We'll show you what Resin.io looks like in action. In front of me here, we have a hexagonal cluster of Arctic 10 devices connected to screens and also with a proximity sensor on them. Right now, you'll see as demonstrated on the screen, these sensors are deactivated. So the scenario I'm going to run through is performing a remote software update that will activate those sensors through code. On the screen here is the Resin.io dashboard. I can see the nine devices that are part of this cluster. I can see their status, the last known commit, and if I wanted to, I could even dig in and see further details such as deployment logs, set uh, environment variables specific to each of those devices, and a range of other options. For now, I'm going to jump over to the code itself. There's some code sitting in front of me that will activate the proximity sensors on these devices. What I will then do with Resin is I'll go through a process that will look very natural and intuitive to a web, cloud, or mobile developer. I'm going to hop over into my terminal window and just simply git push that code out. So right now we're performing a build that's going to be specific to the ARM v7 chipset architecture because we happen to know that these Arctic 10s are running on ARM v7. So that build is happening here in the terminal window. Uh, once complete, we need to actually take that deployable artifact, in this case it's a Docker container, and get it running out on the edge devices. Uh, we will introspect the container running on the device, we will compare it to the container sitting in our build registry, and we will send down just the differences. So we go and inspect at a file system level and send over essentially what is a set of instructions for the edge device to then build that container and deploy it all while maintaining connectivity. Well, this can shrink bandwidth efficiency or provide an increased bandwidth efficiency of up to 100x or more depending on the type of deployment you're making. So here, I don't know if you can see in the terminal window, the friendly unicorn icon has shown up telling us that that deployment is successful. I will then move over into the Resin.io dashboard where you can actually see that a lot of those devices are already updating. So that entire build, delivery, and deployment process has happened while we've been walking through this. And if we're lucky, that will soon be reflected on some of these devices uh, that you see on the cluster itself. So this device here in the middle, for instance, now says sensor activated. So what we can now test is whether that actually happened. You saw me wave in front of the, uh, the sensor before. Let's try it on this device, which has received its update. And you'll see that uh, we're showing images of some of the presidential candidates. This demo has been referred to as the superdelegate demo because I can wave my hands and select whichever candidate I want.